So I'll just, um, I'll just, I'll just mention, you know, today's Memorial Day. And, you know, it, it's interesting to note that, you know, it, it's the greater society. So the God bless of today, of course, is what? It's a day off from work. But I will say, but it's, it's such an incredibly important day. You know, we, we are privileged to be citizens of this great country. And while it's true that as Jews, Libi b'mizrach, right? Like Rabbi Nachman says, my heart is right, Libi b'mizrach, right? But as Rabbi Nachman says, l'chol mokom shani holech, ani holech l'irushalayim, ani holech l'eretz Yisrael. Our hearts are always in Eretz Yisrael. One day our bodies will be there as well. But until that time, we're privileged to be, to be citizens of this great country. And it's important to understand that the freedoms we have, they're not just like appear out of nowhere, that there are men and women who give their lives and are willing to risk their lives each and every day to secure our democracy, to secure our freedoms. And the freedoms that often we take for granted come with, with the highest price. And throughout the, from the founding of this country, there are those men, brave men and women who have been willing to pay that price. You know, in Eretz Yisrael, because you see soldiers everywhere, it's easy to go ahead and express your akara satov. I think here in America, right, it's rare when you it's rare to see someone in uniform. It's rare to see someone in, at the airport. Sometimes you'll see someone in uniform. So sometimes you know we're, we're out of touch with this often because Bar Hashem, our wars are not fought here, right? Our wars, the right, the battles that are fought are fought overseas. Often battles that we are never even aware of. But I will say on a day like today, it's so important. If you know a veteran, right, you know someone who has donned the uniform and has been willing to go ahead and put their life on the line, say thank you. Say thank you. Express your akara satov, because the fact that we're able to gather here, learn daf yomi together, go ahead and daven together, it's true. Unfortunately, we live in times now where we need security outside. But the ability of religious freedom is one of the most greatest gifts that we have. But that gift comes because people have and are willing to pay the ultimate price. So if you happen to run across someone in uniform, make sure to express your akaras atov. But at the end of the day, if you're not going to run across someone in uniform, we all know someone who served in the armed forces. We all know someone who is willing to give for this country. Take the time to say thank you. Take the time to say, I enjoy my life in this country and I enjoy my freedoms. I enjoy my liberty here because you were ready and willing to make the sacrifice. Thank you. And in the schus of that Akhar Satov, our men and women of the armed forces should have incredible siyata dishmaya to continue to fight for our liberties, to our freedom, and the battles probably that we'll never know about. They should be successful in all of their endeavors and Amir Hashem come back to their families whole and in peace.